So if I was a little fun guy living on that strawberry, right now it'd be carnage. Yeah. In fact, we've done some studies with bacterial spores, which are much tougher even than fungal spores, and it basically blasts them to pieces. I could film this all day. You're right, it's very Star Wars. It's, it's cool. very Star Wars. It's science and it's fun as well, it's brilliant. We did this experiment before the weekend. It kind of got left, as these things do. Came back on the Monday, and we were sitting there looking at these strawberries in pristine condition, where everything else around them was furry and disgusting. And there was a moment when I was running up and down the corridors going, four days? Because this was like an extension of the shelf life for four days, which for the food industry is a big issue. Fungi are really important in the natural world. We are eating food, which are plants, therefore they have naturally got fungi on them, because otherwise we're never going to get rid of them. Clearly, once we take things into the kitchen, it's a race against time now between them breaking it down naturally and us eating it. So for the food industry, it's a big issue. And as most people know, if you get a pack with one in it that goes furry, everything else goes with it. We were using plasmas that had already been developed for use in cleaning in medical applications. And the idea was, could we use this to clean uh, food surfaces? So plasma, four state of matter, solid liquid gas, plasma. So ionised gases, effectively. Gases and electricity come together in that pen structure. And what you have is the gas cylinders, which are feeding in some oxygen and some helium. And all the kit at the back up there is controlling the electrical pulses that are going through. The trick here is our colleagues at Loughborough who have come up with a way of making these plasmas at low temperature in atmospheric gases. We get a drying effect because we've got lots of gases going through there but it's not sufficiently energetic to destroy the fruit. What happened was we were trying to treat strawberries as a test to see if the plasma that we're going to use would actually affect the strawberries. And basically we did the test, they looked all right, so we left them over the weekend and we came back after the weekend and they were beautiful. No fur, no nothing. So we suddenly realised that we had something on our hands that was possibly going to be of great value for stopping fruit going furry. Okay, so kit behind you, research. So lots of boxes, gas cylinders, all sorts of things, quite frankly not compatible with the food industry. So what we've done with the guys at Loughborough is that they've designed these little boxes, okay, which is another way of producing the, uh, the plasmas. So now we have this mesh. So we're not, we haven't got a tiny point plume, it's now starting to get a bigger area. If we're going to treat strawberries on a production line, you can't do it strawberry by strawberry, so we have to format it now so that this is compatible with bigger areas of fruit. So this is, whole area of this would be plume. If we were in a darkened room, you could see it much more clearly. So this is where Princey works. So she's been doing some experiments, both with um, the sort of fundamental stuff, so we have lots of nice plates with fungi on, because what we want to understand is how they die. So here we have some strawberries, and basically what we have is two pots, treated and untreated. All of that whiteness you can see is the fungi starting to grow. Yeah, okay, yeah. and you can see the juices coming out because it's breaking down the tissue and releasing the juices. Okay. Yeah, that's not nice. No, that's not good. And then here is the treated pot. Nice and dry, fungal free. We cannot possibly get to the point where we have sterilized fruit. And in some ways you wouldn't want it because it's going to go off anyway. It's going to dry up, it's going to be tasteless. So all we're looking to do is to knock back those fungi a couple of days, slow it all down so that you don't get the punnets lost. The end game is to produce something that's very practical. That's something that we can take for the food industry and allow them to reduce spoilage. Okay, so that, for them that is an issue of uh, less losses. Okay, so it's an economic benefit but also in terms of the amount of stuff we throw away annually. The amount of food waste that we get through is massive. So anything we can do to contribute to, the, to reducing that food waste, you know, we see as a, as a positive benefit. So that's our end game, but as a scientist, my end game is to know how it's working. We've tried raspberries, and that works, and blueberries, and other soft fruits, so very, very generic technology. I do know you can't do herbs. We can make black slime out of herbs faster than anybody else with this technology. So it is a case of it'll be niche. Things that have a nice, good, solid surface will stand the plasma treatment, but we think there's quite a few things out there we can treat.
Why should I be excited about this? What am I going to get out of this? You're going to get less frustrated when you take it home and it goes horribly furry. Um, and if all things were equal, it should get cheaper. <laughs>